window uh, dedicated in honor of the Army wives who obviously have to sacrifice and, and watch the home fires where their husbands are away. Uh, so this is actually still on loan from the uh, Center for Military History. So this is the chapel center. Um, we'll go to the chapel a little bit later, but one of the things you should note is there are no restrooms in the chapel. Uh, you, I guess as a soldier, you were expected to be able to have discipline. And so this is the classroom space. This is where they have Sunday school. This is where their pastor's office. And this is the bathroom. So they, it's a companion. And uh, in late 2011, when we expected the imminent transfer of the property from the Army, haha. Uh -huh. um, the congregations that were worshiping in the chapel center uh, came to us and wanted to stay after the Army decommissioned the building. So we signed a one year lease uh, with the uh, 501c3 that was a combination of the Episcopal congregation and the interdenominational congregation. They came back a year later and signed a four year lease a four-year extension and at the end of that they signed a three-year extension and uh, those leases were triple net leases which means the maintenance of the structure was a responsibility of the tenant and uh, that was probably okay when the army was here and so they did inherit a lot of deferred maintenance but after eight years the maintenance of these buildings are becoming expensive for example just this past year we had to replace uh, five of these mini split units uh, they're about three thousand dollars a piece uh, there are another five that are currently unfunctional um, that the chapel centers, they don't have the capacity to do. We have a preservation requirement when you have artifacts like this. And so the challenge for the state is, how do we spend state money on a lease that is supposed to be the responsibility of the tenant? So their lease expires at the end of August of this year, and I think we'll renegotiate that uh, so that the, probably more like a license agreement where the state will acknowledge that this is a state building and has more responsibility for the maintenance and preservation of the building. So will you be able to house a religious organization in state building under those circumstances? Well, we actually house uh, several religious entities uh, as long as they pay for the cost of occupancy. So they pay utility charges and, and if there's any staff time associated with it, as long as they cover their cost and we're not subsidizing them, right. okay. and we're able to do it. Oh, okay. So we actually have these two congregations. We have a congregation that meets in the theater, and we have a congregation that meets in Building 268 on Sunday morning. So we actually have four, four church organizations at Fort Monroe currently. And I just got another request uh, in my inbox today. So, so yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna, do you have anything else to say? I just wanna say, you know, I, th I do think it's important for those of you who understand the expense that's associated, you know, with these buildings, and I think something that uh, Robert said outside, just remember this, this wasn't intended to be a church. You know, this wasn't intended to be a space that was heated and cooled and air-conditioned, and so all those things contribute to um, to the conditions that occur in the building. Um, it's, um, you know, this is a, you know, one of the things we did last year that was very successful, I mean, it was two years ago, we actually had an opportunity to have Senate Finance was doing a tour and we brought them to Fort Monroe and we were able to, to actually take them in and out of some of the buildings. And you know, the secretary, that helps us a lot. Well, we paid off. Yeah, it did, it paid off big. And we didn't have any problems with the Senate this year. We, they said, that's all you need? Okay, fine. Um, so you know, the goal now would be, let's see if we can get the House, of, the House of Delegates when they're on their appropriations is on some sort of a tour. Let's see if we can find an opportunity for them to come by as well. If not, nothing else but to get targeted members of House appropriations uh, to come here. Uh, like John said, we, we now own these, and um, you know, in the spirit that I'm saying this, I hope you receive it, you're, you're on Commonwealth of Virginia property. This, this is not National Park Service fee simple ownership. You're in the National Park Service easement, um, but you're not in National Park Service uh, property. You, you own this, and you, and you're going to hear a lot about this tomorrow from Mr. Reynolds, please understand, you as trustees are now stewards of this, uh, of this property and this historic artifact and so forth. It is, uh, it is more than challenging. It's just an incredible opportunity for us as well. Having so, been a church member of multiple churches that went, went through fundraising to renovate and innovate and expand, yeah. uh, churches commonly and successfully raise money for their own maintenance and restoration. I don't think the state should take on all of it in totality. Well, the congregation um, has some responsibility. Good point, Destry. And uh, uh, I think we have to be very careful, though, when I 
subsidizing any particular denomination. Yep. Since it's now clearly a commonwealth book. Mm -hmm. That Mary goes through the same thing at the end of the note. But isn't it interesting the possibility of acknowledging that faith was important to soldiers and to the military? Mm -hmm. uh, there's somebody said there are no atheists in the foxholes. And it is very, very true. No matter what war you're talking about, faith is very, very important. So finding ways to connect uh, this space and the other you know, faith spaces to talk about the dimensions of faith as it relates to the military seems to me to be an opportunity you might want to write about. Yep. Another complicated issue to address at Fort Monroe. We're going to walk down. <laughs> um, and go out uh, 